my chat. This is my favorite story time. Under the bed in my secret fort, and I'm gonna read. <laughs> the biggest Christmas tree. I'm a town, good town. I, I am. I am going to my cousin's house this year. Oh, uh, yeah. Her name is Judy McGuire. And she lives in this big giant house up in something called their winter house. So, yeah. So, we're all packing to go there. And my mom calls out, Taylor, you ready to go? I'm coming, mom. So, I grab my little toy airplane that I made with sticks and I headed to the car. My dad. And Sister Gracie were waiting, and my dad drove off to the mountain. Zoom, 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 zoom. Up to the mountain we went, and around and around and around. Snow was on the ground, and big green trees everywhere. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, and it was cold. And it wasn't long before we got to my cousin Trudy's house, and there the house was. You couldn't miss it, because there was a million blinking Christmas lights all on the outside you could see it a mile away and there was a big santa and two twin snowmen toy soldiers elves reindeers and just every single thing that is is christmasy was in the front lawn they didn't miss a thing oh i felt as if i arrived at disney world yeah <laughs> and my little sister said, Gracie, look, look, Santa. <laughs> and my mom, Claire, said, yeah, those are Santa decorations. So we walked up to Judy's house, and the Santa turned, and he said, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And he turned and sees, and my sister, Gracie, giggled. <laughs> and my dad rang the doorbell and it made jingle 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 bell songs and then the door opened and Trudy and her mom and dad dressed in Christmas hats, red Christmas sweaters and bright green pants answered the door and Mr. McGuire Tom said come on in and then their dog Rusty ran up woof, 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 woof. he had an elf costume on <laughs> and Gracie just giggled hi doggy hi doggy and so they said, come on in. And so we came inside and we walked to the living room where they had delicious hot tea and hot cocoa and the best Christmas cookies. And it looked like Santa's workshop. There was the biggest and tallest Christmas tree I ever saw in my whole life. The tree touched the ceiling. Beauty, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. It's a big one. Yeah, chopped it down myself. Oh, wow. Well, why don't you drop your suitcases upstairs in your rooms and then come help us decorate the tree, said Trudy's mom. So we went upstairs and I went to my room, which was a guest room, and it was all decorated in Santa stuff. I had snowman flannel sheets and there was there was a big old stuffed um, snowman and a Santa, and there just were lights everywhere. I had to turn the lights off because they were blinking so much. And I unpacked my suitcase, and my mom and dad came in and said, Come on, let's go downstairs and help them decorate the tree. So we went downstairs, and everyone started to grab some ornaments and put them on the tree. And me and my sister and Trudy were playing with tinsel and throwing it on each other more than we threw it on the tree. And my dad helped Tom put the garland around the tree and the lights around the tree. And mom and Trudy's mom were talking, la, 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 oh, yes, isn't that the latest fashion? And oh, yeah, and oh, when you bake a ham, do you do it for one hour at 350 or 450? They were talking cookie talk. And so we were just talking. So, yeah, so we're all decorating the tree. And it was so 
cool to see the Christmas tree. And then Trudy said, oh, you know what I asked Santa for, for, for Christmas? And we're like, okay, what? She said, oh, an easy bake oven, a coding doll, an Xbox game, Minecraft, robot, Harry the robot. Oh, a hot Lego Hogwarts, great hall building kit. Oh, and I want an air model race car. Oh, yeah. And a Star Wars boost droid building set by Legos. And oh, yeah. And I want, um, oh, yeah, a horse, a new dress. Oh, a new phone. And a razor scooter. And what else did I forget? I know I forgot something else. I know. But Santa has my list. Oh, well, well, that's that's a, a nice list. So we'll just have to wait and see what Santa brings brings down the chimney this year. Well, what about you, Taylor? What'd you ask Santa for? Um, well, I I just asked Santa for for my dad to have a job this year. What? That's not a present. Taylor, <laughs> you need to ask for a present. I don't know if Santa knows how to get jobs. And my mom interjected, Taylor, you like science kids, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Trudy said, why don't I ask for a sloth? A uh, what? A sloth? <laughs> and my mom, she was like, oh, you can adopt one for 12 months. And my mom just looked at me. She is not into having creatures or any kind of animal in the house. <laughs> so the tree was decorated and it looked great and they turned on the lights and it just sparkled like a big jewel. It was so pretty. And Judy and I went outside and we played in the snow. And when we came back inside, oh, the Christmas tree had so many presents underneath it. How did that happen? And Judy instantly ran to look at the presents and she picked up the boxes and started shaking them fiercely and ferociously back and forth. Click, 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 click. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. I wonder if this is Minecraft. Oh, I wonder if this is my Lego set. Oh, I wonder if this is my Razor scooter. And she was looking at all the boxes and picking and prodding and shaking. And she's like, hey, Taylor, I don't see any presents for you. So, may, well, maybe Santa's coming tonight and he'll bring your present then. And she skipped into the kitchen and I stared at the tree and I stared and Gracie came and stared and she giggled. <laughs> she didn't seem to mind that that Judy had a million presents and we didn't have one present under the tree. And she giggled and giggled and giggled and smiled. And suddenly I saw a little angel ornament and I looked and I wished that my dad would find a job soon. And suddenly, the angel ornament with a cute, chubby face smiled and seemed to come to life. Hey, Taylor, remember, it's not how many presents you get for Christmas. It's the spirit that counts. And he winked, and as suddenly as he appeared, then Trudy tapped on my shoulder. Hey, here's some sugar cookies for you. And here's more hot cocoa. Oh, sure. So... She's like, I wonder what Santa's bringing you. I wonder if I got my Easy Bake oven. Mmm, I'm going to make you a mud pie. <laughs> I, I mean, a, a mud, a chocolate mud pie. It's in the recipe. Don't worry, it's not dirt. <laughs> and she skipped along. Trudy is just all about presents and, and things. But, so, I went to my bed that night and... I looked outside and I wondered if Santa would bring me a present. I didn't ask for anything this year, but I'm sure enjoying this big tree, this beautiful big Christmas tree with so many presents underneath it. And it, it feels a little sad not to have anything under the tree to see someone have so many things and to not have one present at all. And the one present that I would want, my mom would never let me have. So I went to sleep that night, I'm trying to remember what the angel said. It's not how many presents you get, but the spirit. And my mom came in to talk to me. Oh, Taylor, just going to wish you a good night. Sleep tight, dear. And she had a nice smile on her face. So the very next morning, I was awoken up by a very noisy Trudy with a horn. Ba -doop, ba -boo! 
Come on, Taylor, let's go open up presents. And Gracie was there, and Gracie was dressed in a Christmas sweater, and my mom and dad had Christmas sweaters, and everyone had Christmas sweaters, except for me, I was in my pajamas. So we all went downstairs, and sure enough, under the tree, there were all of Trudy's presents, and she started ripping them open one by one. Yeah, and he's a big oven. Oh, a coding doll. Oh, yeah, Legos. Oh, Minecraft. Oh, fun. Oh, here's my razor. Zoom, 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 zoom. Not in the house, dear. Not in the house. <laughs> oh, Mom, okay. Did I get my horse? Did I get my horse? What's this? A rocky horse? Okay. Da -dum -da -dum. And Gracie got her present. She got a little baby doll. I was so happy my little sister got a toy. Oh, isn't she cute? I'm going to name her Sarah. And my mom and dad looked and were so happy. And then Trudy said, hey, what's this box over here? Who's this present for? And sure enough, there was a present. And she goes, hey, Taylor, this one's for you. And I looked. I have a present. I didn't think I'd get anything this year with my dad not having a job. It's been a really rough year with so many people not having work anymore. And I, I looked and the box started moving and I was startled. <gasps> what could it be? And I opened it up and there it was, a little puppy. <gasps> Mom, Dad, a puppy? Well... We found a dog that your mom's not allergic to, and we thought this one would be perfect. Oh, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. I can't believe it. You got me a puppy. But you got to remember to pick up after him and feed him and give him walks. Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom and Dad. Sure, I will. Thank you so much. I can't believe this is the best Christmas ever. This is the best and biggest Christmas tree. I was so happy, and the little puppy looked at me, and he went, woof, woof. What you gonna name him, said Trudy. I think I will name him Tinsel. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. I think it's a girl. Yeah, Tinsel. That's really cute. I like that. Here, Rusty, come say hi to Tinsel. Ruff, ruff, ruff. He likes Tinsel. <laughs> oh, Mom and Dad, this is the best ever. Yeah, and guess what? Your father found out he just got a job. So it's going to be a lovely Christmas after all. Wow, this is the best Christmas, and this big Christmas tree is really, really a big tree. Yeah, and you know what? It doesn't matter how many presents you have, because I can share with you. And 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 I kept thinking about the little angel said, it's not about how many presents you have, but the spirit of Christmas. And my mom said, remember, we're all healthy, and we're all together, and that's what matters during the holidays and Christmas time. <laughs> yeah. And Trudy's mom's like, everyone ready for Christmas breakfast? Come on, everyone. I made your special pancakes. And I wonder if Tinsel wants some pancakes. You want some pancakes? Ah, 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 ah. So that was my special, special holiday Christmas at Trudy's house in the mountains. Hey, Trudy, Trudy, should we take the dogs outside and play in the snow? Sure, come on, let's go outside in the snow. And guess what? It was snowing. And we went outside in the snow and we we licked the snow that was falling down and we made snowball fights. And the little puppy, Tinsel, ran in the snow and she played with Rusty. And it was the best and most beautiful Christmas ever. Wishing everyone Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Sir Herbert Sneakies, Enchanting Book Readings, and Marilyn Aber. Thank you for listening to our podcast and please remember to give us five stars. And if you can support the podcast, we appreciate it. Thank you.